Hello. As you can see. And uh, I am Oliver Smith, and I want to run for LJS Treasurer. That's me with gin. I'm not an alcoholic. Also, also now, this slide has 100% less bad memes than last year. I mean, oh, he's already got one of them. Yeah, it's also like a casual one, but you know. So, um, there's, a, there's a few things uh, sort of came to mind when I was thinking about this. So, the reason why I wanted to run for it is because, um, El uh, first off, I study games computing, and uh, it was sort of like the I love games, is the reason why I'm studying it. And I wanted to try and help this society grow and things like that. So, I thought, you know, being part of the council, having a lot of the same things can help, you know, um, make it uh, better and greater than it already is. Um, I'm, there's one thing I really like to do as treasurer, uh, personally, is work with more companies and things like that. So currently, as you can see below, we have the ones we work about, Scotland Games and Game, and that space in the middle, I would like to fill with another another company, maybe somewhere else we can work with. Um, it could be anyone, if you have any ideas, um, it'd be lovely to know, to see you know, who people may want to try and connect with. Um, I like to go above and beyond. Um, I'd like to just try and just do more stuff, more things. And just help make it, as I say, make it grow and do awesome stuff. Um, things I'll bring, fresh new ideas. Uh, things that maybe the previous council may have thought of. Um, I'd also uh, I'd also have past experience from other treasurers um, that can help um, increase on my current knowledge and knowledge from other treasurers, such as the previous treasurer, uh, Connie may know something that for free starting out would be very good, would be very helpful. Um, and yeah, uh, it's pretty much the uh, basis to it. Um, and yeah, go to here and vote. Thank you. Uh, is there any questions? Any questions? Please. Hi, there was no money in your presentation. What experience do you have with money? That's all the questions. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask that. What is your favourite <laughs> currency? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that then. On um, so, past experience with money, um, I've personally been uh, being a, uh, been dealing with my personal funds uh, in, with what, how I move money around. But I've also, um, in previous places, um, helped manage some money. Just to, it was only a small club, but it, uh, we st I still helped uh, manage around the money, um, give them when. Uh, take it out to the people, sort of, things like that. And my favourite currency um, is probably sterling pound. Good choice. <laughs> Pre or post Brexit? Are, are you good? <laughs> are you good at sticking to a budget? Uh, yes, I am. I have uh, experience of making budgets in the past, and I have one that can accurately determine um, two weeks in advance or three weeks if you will have funds depending on if you're spending per day, but I could alter that to make half per month. So meaning, for instance, I could say, if you want to just think in three months, I could say, if I have the money, and if not, we can't do it. Um, as a treasurer, you're going to have to be pretty resourceful in terms of being able to say yes or no very quickly to the councils with like whims and wishes, um, and such things as prizes. Um, now, when we organise tournaments, we try and get a three-week sort of spacing between coming up with ideas. Um, so, if say one week we had no idea what we were going to do and we went to tournament and we said Mario Kart and they won prizes, you have to be able to ensure that those prizes are bought ready for that tournament. Um, and obviously, you've got to think about when you're ordering online and things, delivery dates, um, and things like that. So how would you manage that in terms of you have to have good ideas for prizes instantly on the spot when we're coming up with ideas and sometimes ideas get pushed back, things change, um, spontaneous um, nights and stuff like that. How would you sort of cope with that? How would you...? Um, sure, good question. Um, due, to, uh, due to a lot of uh, most games now have a lot of uh, 
uh, such as, as you said, Mario, have a lot of merchandise around themselves, things like that. So those would for me to be a lot more niche ones that might happen. I would try and find, if I can't find anything specific to that, so if, uh, if for instance, if a quick Google search or something like that, or a bit of a search you know, after a few days, just come with anything, I would try and find things that are either related to it or are as worthy to what could be. Um, because, for instance, a lot of indie games don't really have like mass market um, merchandise. But if I have something similar or that can relate to that, or something that just people find cool in general, um, I would I would have that uh, saved in the back of my mind. So if that's some, for instance, the president said, I want to do this, and we want to do this, make sure you get this. Um, I would have, if I can't think of any ideas, I would have a backlog of ideas merchandise ideas that I could easily, quickly get in, say, a week uh, through other sources such as Amazon, um, games, uh, the games uh, online store, and I know others like Jinx and stuff. Any other questions? So, uh, like we said, you know, there wasn't any mention of money in your presentation. So why do you want to go for treasure over any other bowl? I feel, I feel like it's it's both. It's both a learning curve for myself because um, I've never, uh, never specifically done much in councils wise. Um, but at the same time, I think it would be. Uh, I think I have sort of the idea around how to manage money um, to bring this uh, to help support any ideas that the council might have and stuff. And the reason why I didn't come up with any money was in the presentation. Um, was because I feel like if I start if um, I start dedicate, I feel like if I start dedicate slides and things like to exact like figures and things like that that I personally don't have currently. I feel like that may uh, not justify exactly as it might be because if I start saying we have X amount that could be wrong, um, which would cause quite a bit of an issue doing something like this. Um, but when I do uh, want, if I would did get into it and have the the money and things, uh, the idea of the figures and stuff, then I'd be able to uh, much better talk and inform the society if people ask, you know, uh, what we can do, what can be done. Um, yeah. uh, you said you wanted to work with more companies and uh, do some things we hadn't thought of. So just like throw me like an idea of like what things we haven't thought of that you think you can bring to the society next year, and like what company you think would be good to work with, and how you approach trying to get a contact with them? Um, I'll start off with the company question first. Um, so, as I said, currently, if you just that one? Yeah. Uh, as I said, currently, we so pretty work with Walkabout Game, or Gotham Games, um, but I know there's the new um, gaming arcade that started up. Um, I think it's called Akira. Yeah, Akira. Uh, I'd like to go speak with them, see maybe we can uh, talk to them to try and get some working because I know they have some arcade machines down there as well. Meaning we could, in theory, if we did partner up with them, we could go over there and have um, arcade versus with more retro games than what we could uh, get into here. And also not be able to have multiplayer down there, which could be a great thing. But that's just that's just an idea of potential. Um, Going back to your first question, which was my ask being? Oh, it was um, what companies and what ideas? Ideas. Um, so, some ideas, as I said, working with uh, more, uh, more companies. Um, but I'd really try like to either go, um, as I know, the, I know the council idea come up with the working with, going to, sorry, more events such as insomnia and stuff. And I'd like to, because uh, I know connections in through insomnia and things like that. So, those ideas that they may have, and also the society may have of ideas, maybe events they want to go to, things they want to do at those events. Um, I'd like to treasure be able to um, put the money forward to where we can do that, so we could spend a weekend in insomnia, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, I remember a few years ago when one of the previous treasurers went for a funding request, you know. You know, funding request let's say for a console, you've got to go to the society council if you want if you want to take it straight out of the budget. Uh, do you think you'll have a pretty good knowledge in case of how to defend a budget request? Like say you want to spend five hundred quid for a switch and you have to go to 
decided to come today and be with us. Now it's you, you pitch it to you, um, you pitch it through like to other societies. Oh, but you basically you need to break down like, all the reasons I have to say that. You know, yeah. Um, you have to like, just break down and like justify the costs and what money you're already putting into it now. And then a group of um, Shame. student reps I actually want them so. Um, we all we all vote on the panel. It's not both on by the actual hierarchy. I'm on. I mean, would you be confident in like putting forward something like that, being able to sort of justify why? Yeah, I think I think when it comes to before I even went forward of doing that, if somebody did come for a press of that, I'd first get the I'd get why they want to have it first. Um, and I like to give you know the pros and cons. So, for instance, we said get a switch. Um, I like to have like, okay. So, what's your reasoning? I asked you personally before doing any process to say, so you'd get a switch for you want to get a set of switch. There's how many switches and for what reason do you want that? Because then I can take that knowledge add to my own, saying why I think it will forward the society and help bring more people in to then go to the council with that, uh, go to the meeting and uh, pitch it to. Chapman is one of them, for instance, to Chapman, to um, make it so we were able to get those funds. Um, because I feel like if I went in without knowing um, the person who asked it why they wanted it, I feel like it's like if somebody asked, if they asked me, why do you want this? All I know is what I have to figure out me personally when it's somebody else I'm buying it for. Any other questions? No, we have how are you going to make money? Um, I mean, like, I want to explain on that. Like, uh, obviously, we've got events that which we can make money on, but there's no guarantee that they'll always work. Like, when we've had like Smash Brothers tournament, not a lot of people show up for those sometimes. So, there's no guarantee that you'll make money on it. So, are you planning on going outside of the, like, to everyone else in the university, or have you got a plan for that? Um, when uh, to gather more funds, um, so I, I, know, I know you said the events only do so well with people. Hopefully, with a, the future events manager, that could increase the numbers. <coughs> but a more guaranteed one, um, we could uh, we could possibly maybe talk and say like I said, like walk about and more people like that to try and maybe get discounts and things like that. And by doing that, we can then maybe um, say, hey. Know, there's these people which could they could in turn feed us funds to, to sponsor them as uh, I presume walk about or is it to walk no, we get like a, a bar tab with them. Mm. So. Maybe, maybe I could change that round, maybe say like hey we sponsor you and you give, you know, X amount for every like person who uses this discount sort of thing or you know, every time so many people go in we said thing. Um, that's a lot of thing I I have to think about over time and try and figure out but I would try I would try I will be trying to find another way to get um, a substantial and always flowing river of money into the uh, society itself to so we can do more events, um, more stuff, more smash tournaments, more um, gaming related things. Right. In kind of response to that, um, we as LGS don't make profit. We don't aim to make profit. We don't we're a, we're we're not um, we're not a business. We don't aim to make profit. We aim to break even so that everything we do, uh, we everything we give to our members, we get back. You know, it's not it's not about making profit as treasurer. It's like there is a good things in having profit. Like if we want to spend big, then we will do events where we raise money, and then that money goes straight on the event. So stuff like Play Expo, we made no profit on that. That was literally to cover the cost of coaching and the, and things like that. Um, because making money as a society is not is not the aim because that's not what your members want. Your members don't want to just give you money for no reason. Everything you give to us, we give you back in terms of prizes, <coughs> events, um, socials, and things like that. So that's what I did as treasurer, and that is generally what I was told by Bobo and ex treasurers and things like that. That is what we do. Uh, Jack, have you had a question? Okay. That, that wasn't a question, that was just a really long statement. He's, 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 he's probably just disagreeing with me. So. No, I, I mean, I actually had a question which was kind of similar to that. 
That was a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say a load of stuff and then not have questions. But anyway. uh, your philosophy is break even and make coffees or give back. Uh, so eat a break. So tell that one more time. Uh, which one would you try to stick to? Would you want to break even all the time? Uh, profit. Because it, it sounds like shady, but it's not. It makes sense because you are actually a business. You're a brand. You have a logo. So you are a business. Logo's on his chest right now. So just for proof. Yeah. <coughs> so it is, it is a business. It works for a charity. And if you're like a brand. Or would you rather the third approach of always make a bit of a loss just to give back? Because like Bobo would have done probably his approach. But every treasure I've come across always goes for one. And it's always a good idea to kind of know what you want to do before you start doing it. Um, I think uh, when it comes down to that, it I feel like it will do it will vary on what um, what's happening at set time. So what event is being running if I want to aim to try and break even or to just uh, to make a profit. So for instance, smaller events I may try to aim for profit because um, it might be a lot less cost, meaning it's a more of a chance to try and get a profit. But when it's bigger events um, that spend more money. I will try and I will be aiming for breaking even and making a profit um, because I'd rather have it'd be better to have more members than having um, a huge amount of uh, a huge loss in my opinion or profit in the same way. It's better to have um, the society still have members and have people here than to have a society with no one and loads of money. <coughs> Anyone else? Do you have another one? Say what? I have another one. Mikey? I'll just have quite a good time sign my third one. Um, you, so, uh, say if you, you've been elected, you've got three or five, and it's like this time next year or something, your president goes, right, I've got £300 for you to play with, it's completely up to you. Uh, and they've shortlisted for you a list of a switch with two names, a uh, second hand 64 through buffer game with a discount. With like all the control, four controllers, those games, or a slightly cheaper discounted Xbox One with a Connect. Which one would you go for? I would buy. You want to think about the stuff we already have, but you bring a lot of things off. Like, for example, the moment the council has a new PS3 apparently, uh, an Xbox 360. What's the second option one, did you say? Uh, I'll just go through it again. Um, so it's a, a brand new Switch, just with two games, so it's just got the two Joy-Cons and all of it. Uh, and then 64 for quite cheap, three got them with like loads of games with it, and then a Xbox One for a bit cheaper, with a Kinect as well, with some kind of games. I would go with the Xbox One um, because the, um, what we also have with the Xbox One is uh, because of how it's uh, a lot more of a more common console, a lot more people, even though I only have a few games that are brought with it, there's other people maybe on the council or people who somebody in the site like, hey, I have a set game for the Kinect uh, that might be willing to uh, just lend it for the event. Um, meaning that that 300 um, can be spent uh, whatever's left after using the Xbox One with the Connect um, could be feed back in and to be used for uh, either uh, future events or if something goes horribly wrong or somebody wants uh, somebody in the council like the day before wants this specific Connect game for it, this that small margin of money that can then be used to purchase it from say game or other game or other games or wherever we're able to get it in time. On a scale of one to five, how do you rate my question? He's bad with money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you be willing to deal with like companies? Like for example, when we did like Play Expo, I know you didn't really like the bring nice. about those being done. But uh, like, would you be willing to like call different companies, get quotes for things, try and find like the best um, deal and things like that? And how would you? Yeah, would you be willing to do that? 
Uh, I would be willing to uh, go out and beyond, as I said, to try and um, speak to those companies and things like that. And I feel like, if, if, depending on what the council would like, so mm -hmm. if, for instance, they want a specific company to speak to, then I would go speak to them, try and get, you know, uh, if it's a quote they want or I, you know, they just want a contact from them, I try and go out of my way to go speak to them. If that's through phoning them, emailing, or if they have a, let's say, a office that's not far from here, I could go visit and uh, arrange a visit to go see. Yes, sir. Referring back to Jack's question, we actually would about with the society about a Switch, a sixth floor, loads of games like Xbox One, we can't put no games. Since you go for the Xbox One, and you said that maybe all the members of the, of the, of the council would have games, well, what if they didn't? What if they were? Well, how would. How would you then buy games for the Xbox One? Would you buy it through like, your own money or through the society phone? You have to go through your uh, I would. Uh, you can't have you? to. Um, you can't just spend. You can't. Like, it's not like a bank account. You can't withdraw money um, and spend it. Like the only way you can do that is through development requests, and that's usually for big ticket items. For stuff like that, you will have to spend out of your own pocket. There's and no. You, there's bank. no option. You, yeah. you can't. That's, that's it. You, you can't do it. So. Um, but yeah, I'll reduce my own funds to help like that um, because uh, I personally will, will sacrifice my personal funds to help um, make events and help support them. Yeah. Anyone else? Sam? I'll do uh, that So one of the cool things we're able to do at the E24 events is get like, this, the huge like domino order in. Yeah. Would you still be willing to consider Doing that for our events, are there any others? Uh, yeah, I would. I would be willing to do for Domino's. <laughs> um, but I might, it might be easier to do for Pizza Hut because I, I know somebody who personally works at Pizza Hut. I mean, I could try and ask them if they're able to get me a small discount on set um, pizzas and things like that. Um, but I would be, uh, it depends on what people would like to use. So, for instance, if people are flagrant towards Domino's, then Domino's would be the one we would go for.